So welcome to an historic district, Lower Town, which is a part of Saint, uh, downtown St. Paul, the capital city of Minnesota. These are melted bricks. Give me a break. Yes, they are. And I'll show you a few things. We're not going to argue about these are melted or not. They were red. Yes, they were. They turned yellow. Yes, they have. They had paint on them. Yes, they did. See the paint up there? This whole thing was painted. This whole this entryway, see? It was painted. It had paint. See the paint up there still? Um, but get this, it was looking ugly, at least with these mixed match bricks before the event. This isn't after this isn't after the fact. Repairing after the fact. This is the melted. Take a look at the melted mortar here. Here's the melted mortar. You see what it's doing. It's going in under the bricks all over the place. We can follow we can follow the melted mortar all around until we hit some new mortar. Here's a repair. And we can see we can see the difference. That's new mortar. Here's the melted stuff. With pebble with pea gravel in it. I mean, if you were to ask a mason what they used here, they'd probably say, I don't know, pea gravel in Portland? Oh, geez, that looks pretty stupid. And why would that be? Look at the stones here. Be betwixt the bricks. Betwixt the bricks, you got a, you got a stone here. What's that going to do if you had a brick sitting on top of a stone and a brick? A brick, a stone, and a brick. The brick's going to crack, right? It's going to crack. The mortar is supposed to be softer than the brick. Because it's a bed. It's a bed that the brick sits on. It needs to be softer. If you have a stone sitting in between, a big stone blown out in between here, or in the mortar mix, and you have a stone between two, it's going to cause a crack. And then that crack will go up and up and up the whole building, and it will eventually cause um, an issue. This is damaged when you see mortar like this, with pebbles in it stuck like that. No mortar will ever look like this when a building is being laid. It will look like this. Always. Always. Excuse me. Because the other stuff will, um, this stuff over here, will, will destroy the building. If, if you were to lay it, breaks down on top of this stuff, with this stuff between it, the building would crumble to dust. It would not be safe. And no one, and no one does that. They had to put some wood in here, this wood, um, to kind of, relieve some areas. See the wood? There's likely wood behind these. Because these seem kind of pointless and they're, they're right at these edges of these bricks. There's probably just more of these between the joints to kind of help. I think, I think this helps aid with the problem that you get from these being blown out. From all these minerals being blown out like this, I think they do this to relieve the wall a bit from all the, the stress that, that is um under because when you have a stone that's popped out in the mortar between two bricks now those bricks are under stress because they no longer have a soft bed between them right now follow the melted mortar from the bricks over here into these strange um, block bricks they're bricks too same material fired bricks but these were obviously done before the event so this was looking strange and goofy before the event it was looking strange and goofy before. You get what I'm saying? Here's new mortar. And look between these bricks. That's the melted stuff. So this was like this before, they, but it was painted though. So maybe that's why they had it looking goofy because it was painted anyway. It had stucco. That's the original stucco right there. And it's kind of bled into the bricks all over the place. So it had stucco and then the stucco was painted on top of that, it seems. Or maybe that's a repair, an old road repair. Because this is old, this is old here. It goes in under these damaged bricks, see? Underneath it, that stucco stuff. It's going, it's kind of mixed in with the mortar. It might just be mortar bleed. It might be mortar snot just bled out right there. You never, it's hard to say. It looks almost like a stucco. But it could just be mortar bleed out because it is very similar in resemblance to the mortar that's all around here too. So it might just be mortar snot. Let's, let's call it that. The mortar snot. Sorry about the focus. Sorry about the focus. It's I'm using the phone and I'm not gonna. The camera. The camera is is, is fighting me. It was kicking my ass. So I gave up. These timbers are original. Some of them are this huge, enormous timber. It's beautiful too. Look at this timber. It's enormous. And it's all. It's done. It's routed very nicely. This has been replaced on this side. That's original timber. 
And you know, you know how it's original? This is how you know. Check the mortar. We know what the new mortar looks like, and we know what the melted mortar looks like. Well, there should be a, a bed of mortar between this, this um, column here, and there is. And what is it? But the melted stuff. The melted mortar is, is what's uh, fastening this timber to the building. So this is original. This is original. There would be a new layer of mortar if this was a replacement after the fact. There'd be a new uh, layer of mortar here, fresh mortar, there's not. This is the melted stuff, the melted stuff. So this is original. That's how you tell, it's that easy. Yet the mortar tells you a lot. The mortar will tell you a lot. You have to look at the mortar before you really know what you're looking at. Here's the sides, there's a big hole right there. And all these buildings, look at the glass blocks. Those are all glass blocks all the way up. And this is a multi-sectional structure. But wait till you see the bricks on this building. There's some stuff going on right in there you want to look at. But uh, let's take a look at these first. This is interesting. You're gonna, so. Okay, so over here. Let's, let's look over here. See if I can zoom in close enough. Yeah, I can, good. It's a bit grainy, but it's good enough for what I'm gonna show you. See the bricks over here? Relatively straight and normal. English standard, normal bricks. But let's follow them towards the edge of the building. Now watch the condition of these bricks and how they how wavy they get. Look, look over here. See right here? And now watch up here. Look how loose we're getting. Mortar is vacating. Mortar is vacating. And now look at these. See over here, they look very straight and normal, see? Very straight and uniform in courses. It's an American bond. See the row of headers, followed by seven rows of, of stretchers and then a row of headers seven rows of stretchers and a row of headers. This is an American bond. But look over here. You can't tell what the hell it is. There ain't no bond here anymore. The bricks have all gone in different shapes and different sizes. If some have mashed together and some have not. Some have broken apart. Ain't no bond there anymore. And you're not gonna build a building this big and pretty. Hang on a second. You're not gonna build a building, a building this pretty. Do it perfect over here in courses and just get lazy over here and do this. Because this is gargantuan. It would, it would crumble to dust. And, and who would approve of that? Who would approve of that being okay when you did it perfect over here, right? Perfect courses. And then what happened over here? Who did this side? Who did this side? Or what happened? It's what happened, yes. This is a masonry frame building. This is, these are um, brick. For, this is a brick frame. Rendered with cement. See the bricks underneath it? So this is a masonry frame building. Some of them are concrete frames, concrete and rebar frame, the old buildings. Some of them are iron frame, and some of them are masonry frame. Like this one's a masonry frame. That one's a masonry frame. This one's an, I got the, yeah, so let's take a look down here. So that ain't, that ain't right right there. You see that? That ain't right. You can't even follow, you can't even follow the course or the bond anymore. It's, you can't tell that it's, it's an American bond. You can over here though. You can see it's clearly, it's, it's an American bond. You got a row of headers at the bottom right there and seven rows or six or seven rows of stretchers and a row of headers. And, it's, and it goes on and on. But over here, look at these. They've all like blown into headers. Just a mixed match mess, see? And these are fake glass blocks here. These are fake ones. The real ones are over there around the corner. And on this side, this side held up very well. So that side of the building, not so much. The bond has, the bricks have all gone loose. Over here though, they're perfect. See the, see them alternating, American bond. I think this one's the 1905 build or something like that they say. That building is enormous. It goes all the way down the block, like the whole block. We got arches and all this down there, if you can focus. That's the only, that's the only thing. We have to wait for the focus to kind of catch up but um let's go down this way these are granite at the bottom and these are uh, like a steam pressed brick but i'm not sure if that's how they originally looked it almost looks like heat damage on those bricks but i see those everywhere so maybe they look like that but this is like hammered this has been hammered granite 
and machined as well. See, it's machined and it's um, machined granite and hammered as well. So I think that might be, I don't know. I think it's original. It's hard to say sometimes, but because the joint work is so good. And sometimes the mortar, like on this one, it's either been repointed or just held out a lot better. This may this may be repointed. I don't know. It's in pretty fair condition, but how to say this old concrete there. But very robust um, masonry materials always at the base of these buildings. It's gotten old. It's gotten old. Yeah, so this is definitely what's going on here. Uh, I don't know. And look how close the buildings are. How close they are. Ridiculous. And the bricks all the way up. So that's yeah, that's the facade. So that that is original. It's original. It would seem, yeah. There's no way they could have got this 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 clean without making a mess on these bricks if this was done after the fact. The joint the joint is original. I don't know. This facade might be new. And that's what I like to come out and look at, but no, it's not. It's not. There's your pea gravel. There, there's your, there's your, you, ha you have to look at the mortar. See the mortar here is very consistent. It's running a consistent pattern. And then follow it right into here. Boom. There's your, no, you can't do that. If you have stone between these, it's going to crack this brick eventually. This has to sit on a soft bed of mortar, see? So this looks like it's been repointed. Same bricks down here. The mortar is different though, look, if you can focus. There's that, there's that. See, it's been repointed. So they, they've come and they've um, repointed the building. And somebody got, probably got, uh, and somebody probably made a pretty penny doing that too. Lots of repairs on that, lots of, yeah, they've, they've this is our repair, all, all the black. That's our repair. It's been pointed. See? That's all fresh pointing, uh, pointing work. So, somebody paid to have that building really restored. And look at the top, there's a paint still on it up there. From whatever the last business was. I can't read it. Patio, something patio. We've been between those, we've been betwixt those two. And they're all, they're all old world. Structures. This one's limestone all the way up to the top. Uh, we've been down this alleyway before. And I think we'll go down this one again because we're going to see something done at the end here. See, nothing but a little late night engine for some of that in the dark alley brickin, baby. In the dark alley brickin. Late night engine. Glue sniffing. Panty ripping. Son of a bitch's name is Pants on the Ground, baby. Son of a bitch, his name is Pants on the Ground, and we're gonna find some more, some more evidence. These are pretty. Look at these. Masonry. Uh, everything's fancy. Has a handle on it. This is, why is there a handle on it? In the frame. They, just, they, they do weird stuff. What's all this fastened in with? Yeah, it's fastened in with, uh... Oh, oh! Those are like old um, Phillips. These are really old Phillips. They are Phillips heads, but old ones. Ah, oh. yeah, that's an old handle. That's their style. The metals are always like this is bronze. It seems. Eh. That focus, eh? What a what a what a what a joy. My camera is dead over there. It, it took a dump. The battery took a dump while I was. Uh, Making a video, so uh, do we need do we need relief arches going into the ground? No, a relief arch is for one thing, to relieve pressure of the building above, above what said windows below. That's why they make a relief arch. It's not it's not anything to do with foundations. So it's, they shouldn't be here. Relief arches are for one thing, for relieving pressure above doorways and windows. That's what a relief arch is for. And they don't belong in the ground. 
in northern, northern windows. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting shot in the alleyway. <laughs> it, now, if you know, if he had been, if he if he had been packing just now, he would he would have just laid me out in the in the middle of the dark alley here. <laughs> he would have laid me out because I was not ready for that. Um, these are these are timbers. These ones are timbers. Oh, it's masonry. God, everything's fancy. Look at this. Look at these strange doors here. What the hell are those? Look at an angle. Oh. Yeah, he would have—he would have absolutely just laid me out just there. Just the enemy was shooting at me. Okay, so um, this has been painted. I mean, come on, you see the damage. This—they've painted over it because it's, it's so damaged. Uh, here's the only thing. Here's the only bricks we can see, and they're yeah, they're yellow. They're yellow and gray, and they were red. This one's still red in here, kind of. See here. Let's focus here. Eh? You see, see the mortar condition. Like pea gravel, it's all messed up, muffed up, and they painted it because it's so bad. You see how bad it is with the paint on it, see? There. Heavily damaged.